Hello, we have arrived in Kolkata uh, or Calcutta, previously known as Calcutta. As you can see in my background, there are so many lightings. It's just the gleams. When we'll be traveling in the city, you will see that the lighting and the city is glowing. So we're in Calcutta now, finally, after a long travel from Hobart, or Melbourne and Singapore. We'll cover many aspects of Durga Puja and life in Kolkata, where we grew up. So hopefully it will be enjoyable series on our YouTube channel. So please stay tuned and we'll show you our greatest festival in Kolkata which is called Durga Puja. So we have started from Kolkata airport and we are going into the city and uh, as you can see that it's um, it's a road from airport to the city it's called VIP road but because it's Durga Puja and it's already started so it's extremely busy road even busier and there are so many cars and it's like 10 o'clock at night 10 30 but it's just super busy but especially this time as we travel I'll actually try to record the lighting during Durga Puja or Durgotshab in Kolkata we have extraordinary lightings and that's something I would like to share with you and you will enjoy it immensely and in Hobart when we have this dark mofo we have these extraordinary lightings and these artworks but this is just a totally different scale a gigantic scale it's a different scale when the celebration of this Durga Puja is performed and participated by 25 million people so you can imagine the whole Australia is in one city and celebrating Durga Puja so let's enjoy this ride through this nightlife of Kolkata with uh, glittering lights of Durga Puja in Calcutta we have a big band you see it's a, it's a replica it's a replica of the London big band and there's the the clock I mean, we have a long heritage of British uh, Raj in Kolkata. Kolkata, previously known as Calcutta, was capital of the British India from 1772 until 1911, when the capital of India was moved from Kolkata to Delhi. And since then, India's capital is Delhi. So you can imagine that such a long time this city was India's capital. When we were growing up in Calcutta, and at that time it used to be called Calcutta, not Kolkata, we didn't have any traffic system, to be honest. We didn't have any traffic lights, and it was just like crazy situation. But these days, over the last 20 years, it has improved significantly, and people are trying to follow, and we definitely have traffic system, traffic lights, and traffic police everywhere. So it's much more controlled and so so as you can see that we started from the airport and we are actually flowing quite nicely. It's night time but it's pretty busy still. It's like 11 o'clock at night. There's so many cars and so Calcutta is the first city in India where we had metro, metro railways, underground metro. And then since then like almost like 40 years now we have metro system and it has expanded significantly and these are the new expansions of that metro system but obviously it's over 300 nearly 400 years old city so you can imagine that these parts are newly developed so we prefer these days over at rail tracks than underground but yeah so this is a huge construction and big progression of this very old city on my left it's it's called Vivekananda Juva Bharati Krirangan uh, used to call Salt Lake Stadium. This is one of the largest football stadium in India. And so we used to come here to watch local clubs, football, soccer, football. And uh, the two very important clubs are East Bengal and Mohan Bagan. And we used to come here to watch those football matches, which is part of uh, now Indian Premier League. But that time used to be Kolkata League. So far we were traveling on a bypass road so it was basically bypassing the main city but because the main lightings and the, all the 
panels of the big Durga Puchas are inside the city, the old city, and the, we are now going through that part so we can capture some fantastic light installations. This is a big shopping mall in South Calcutta called Quest. Can you see in front? There are a lot of lemons getting transferred for the market. So tomorrow morning in the fresh market, they will be getting sold. Look at the installations. This is just one of them and we have like thousands of this type of installations across the city and it has got different themes for different uh, installations so local clubs come together with a big budget and they choose a theme uh, so sometimes it could be some temple like one year we found that they they built a buckingham palace and uh, that was the the panel of or the installation where the Durga Pratima will be the idol will be sitting inside and then the worship will happen so basically these are different art in installations and so it's just fascinating and all these infrastructures are made with like bamboos like these mains are carrying so because the puja is still like four or five days away so they're still constructing the mandops or the pandals but yeah so the in front of me you can see that this is not a building this is like a a temporary installation of art and uh, it has a theme i don't know exactly what this theme is but it looks like some sort of palace and uh, yeah so you can see that it has got lighting it has got a huge structure and it has got an artistic theme a theme based on uh, indian state of rajasthan and there are some miniature dolls so it's just fascinating. I mean, I, I mean, how many I can cover? I don't know, probably only very few. But this is one of the biggest one and we can drive through. This is a famous uh, Durga Puja uh, installation. It's called Shingi Park. It is a very historic uh, Durga Puja and we are able to drive through on the right hand side be ready this is the durga protima so durga with with her four children and so this is the idol i was talking about and people worship these for a week and it's just so fascinating and those are the rajasthani uh, dolls playing so we could drive through so that's amazing because particularly because the puja hasn't started yet and it's not that busy next um, couple of days onwards these streets will not be drivable so basically all pedestrians will be coming uh, walking around and uh, in a very big queue for these art installations these lightings to to be enjoyed and it will be crazy time i mean I, I won't be able to walk through these streets because it will be so crowded so this is the best time that we capturing we are capturing this look at more of the light installations it's just stunning Look at this robotic dancing light installation, wow! So the, from the previous installation we are now entering another panel and it has a, you, you can see, you can see that it's, it's a completely different art theme. It's, it's all made with bamboo, but the shape and size of this panel is completely different. 
again i mean obviously it's so artistic it's very difficult to explain by just looking at it what the actual theme is but look at the installations i mean this gigantic it's a mammoth scale and the idol is the same durga pratima but it is a completely different kind of durga pratima it looks different sometimes durga pratima represent different part of india different cultural side of our um, heritage and so from the from the previous durga pratima this one is quite different you can see that already it's like almost 12 at night but it's like so many people already on the street it's the fascinating festivity time and just look at the installation it's just so good final cut will be really difficult to do in a short span because i want to actually share this um during durga puja this is just extraordinary that we could drive through these uh, pandals the durga mandops because uh, from tomorrow i was i was just told that from tomorrow these roads will be completely closed so you won't be able to drive through this it's a narrow streets of old calcutta and all these light installations and so many people just coming around to, to enjoy these light installations it will be a crazy time so yeah we are i think we are very lucky time wise that just tonight we could drive through all of these it's not too busy this night time and so yeah it will be a good material to share with you guys now we are entering baliganj cultural puja and it's one of the historic very big puja as well so i i'm expecting it will be another glittering installation it's very important to note that all these materials these temporary structures and the art installation and the mandops are made with biodegradable materials like bamboos bamboo sticks and and cottons we couldn't drive through this puja so i had to come out of the car and walk through this from tomorrow it will be so crowded i couldn't do anything Obviously, I needed to come out of the car and to walk through this mondo. I couldn't actually drive through this road even tonight. Tomorrow, from tomorrow, it will be crazy. And yeah, I wanted to cover this. And yeah, hope you liked it. It's just so gorgeous, fascinating installations. And as I mentioned, that we have like thousands of them in the city. And how many can you cover? It's so crowded. So we can only cover the best ones and the few ones. and it's always very enjoyable i'm here to another puja mandap it's is again i need to walk and so i'm i'm walking to cover this one it will be a completely different experience it's called modi ali
how was this? It was just another fascinating installation. Yeah, I mean, I, I could cover a few of them tonight. It was pretty unplanned. After nearly 24 hours traveling and arriving in Kolkata, and I can't plan for this, but it's going beyond my expectations. Yeah, it's nearly 12 o'clock, 12, 12.30 at night, and obviously, as I mentioned, that uh, we, we arrived in Kolkata and uh, at the airport and then first thing we did, we started a Puja Porikrama. We went through quite uh, quite a bit of uh, Durga Mondops and a few Pujas and captured that to share on our YouTube channel. And obviously it's very tiring because we have been traveling for the last two days. And if you don't know our channel, it's uh, the Diversity Travelers and we live in Australia and we do a lot of videoing and also archive our old videos. And so the, this, is, this is another uh, temple that uh, we are probably I'm going to conclude this video tonight. And it's also in South Calcutta and it's a fascinating installation once again.